It's been two months since Yanko's left his mother's house. He went away to study, and his mother's very worried, because she hasn't heard from him. And every day she looks, there's no mail. This is a long time ago. There weren't any telephones. And finally a letter comes, and she opens up the letter, and she looks at it and realizes she's in trouble because Mrs. Shapiro can't read English. So she goes next door and knocks on Mrs. Smith's door and said, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Smith, could you please read this letter my son sent me? First of all, I don't know how she knew it was her son, but she did. Any case, Mrs. Smith opens up the door, reads the letter and says, Mom, send money. And Mrs. Shapiro says, that's not my son. You have no idea what you're reading, and I'm sorry I asked you. Goodbye. And she goes downstairs and knocks on Mrs. Brown's daughter. And Mrs. Brown answers the door, and she says, Mrs. Brown, my son sent me a letter. Could you please tell me what it says, because I cannot read English. And Mrs. Brown reads the letter and says, Mom, send money. Says, oh, that's not my son. And she's distraught. She now walks across the street where the, she was in Brooklyn at the time, and there was this little park, and she's sitting on the bench, and she's crying, and a woman walks over and says, What's the matter? Why are you crying? It's a beautiful day outside. And Mrs. Shapiro says, I got a letter, and I can't read it. It's written in English. I wish my son would have written to me in my language where I could have read it, but he didn't. And the woman looks at the letter, and she reads it and says, Mom, send money. Yanko. Mrs. Shapiro recognizes her son immediately and is distraught and says, Oh, my God, I must send him money. And she runs away, and she runs to the bank to send him money. It's how we say things and how we hear them that makes this difference.